Hello. Uh, welcome to McFoodies. My name is uh, Kid McFoodie. And this is... I'm Julie McFoodie. And today, today what? Today, we're yes. going to be making uh, huevos rancheros with some tortillas. Okay, and I'll start with the tortillas and the... And, uh, and then I'll move on to the salsa and eggs. All right, great. So, um, for the tortillas, we're going to have flour. This is a wheat flour, uh, all-purpose uh, flour that I'm using. And uh, I'll try three, three cups of that. And then I will put uh, some salt in. And I don't have a measure, but I'll just do this. And a teaspoon of salt. Out there. Um, and some oil. Excuse me, I moved this out of the way a bit. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Um, oil, and I would say uh, three tablespoons of oil for this uh, guy here. And uh, so I don't have the measure again, but there's three, I guess. So, uh, and now. We, you could do this by hand, of course, and uh, knead, mix it up and then knead it for a couple of minutes. It uh, should work out. Uh, or if you have a food processor like this or some other uh, device, you could use that, and that's what I'll use. So here we have um, everything ready. Okay. Oh. Huh. Okay. Now I didn't say, but I could, uh, should have said that uh, um, as far as the, water, the amount of water is concerned, maybe a cup or a cup and a half, but it's all... As you see, you got to, well, I should have paid closer attention maybe, but I was lucky. And uh, pay attention to the water that goes in there, and then when it forms a, a ball, then you're, then you're good to go. And so there's that. It's in there. Uh, I made some, some dough yesterday. Uh, it's now 10 in the morning or so. I made it yesterday about the same time. And so here we have that. Um, and... I'll well, just bisect it, I guess, or maybe maybe do thirds first. Uh, half, I don't know. Just half, half again. All right, now. Okay. All right, we'll see. Oh dear, excuse me, hold on one second. This is a crisis, first crisis of the day. I should forget to turn up the air, there we go. I had to turn on the electric uh, gizmo there. And making these round, but symmetry is not critical, so. And roll them out to maybe an eighth of an inch thick or less, maybe sixteenth, eighth. Keeping uh, in mind that you get probably got to keep flour on them all at all times because if you don't, they'll stick and you can't roll them out. So there's one. You see, put that there. Do another one. All right. Now, okay. Okay, maybe we'll do this and then one more. Okay. And one more for good luck. And also to cover up, cover up my um, 
the fact that I didn't turn that thing on soon enough. Make another one. And I have, and usually when at home I make them, I put them in a cast iron skillet to uh, cook and no, no fat in there. Uh, the fat in the tortillas itself traditionally would be lard or shortening uh, or oil, as you see, and even butter, I guess. Uh, and so, all right, now, okay. Now I will move this around if I can. Where's this thing? Which one we got? Is that this one? Aha. Okay, great. Uh, thank you, Julia. All right. Spot there, yeah. Okay. Now, when this is up to speed, up, which this is not, uh, you just plop them on there, and uh, 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, and they should be done. But uh, we're a little behind on the heat. No, maybe not. Uh, probably won't do it quickly enough. But anyway, so we'll we'll uh, do that. Uh, 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. And they should be done, and uh, then you're ready for whatever else you're going to do in your Mexican dinner. And for that, uh, we'll turn it over to Julie, but uh, we'll, in the meantime, now we'll take a break. Okay, back we are. Now I didn't say I, sh what I should have about the uh, temperature of the of the griddle or the the uh, um, cooking element, and it would be uh, medium to medium high, or f roughly 400 degrees. And uh, so then you do those again, 30 seconds on each side, and what you'll see maybe is is something like this uh, tortilla situation, and brown a little brown on, on the top, and then uh, it's uh, good to go. So, Julia. And the fun of tortillas is that with this meal, which uh, is an eggs for a crowd kind of uh, recipe, you can use whatever tortillas you love. Corn tortillas, flour tortillas, there's a diversity of tortilla options from Mexico. And so you can enjoy those options, whichever you choose. So what we're going to do together is show you uh, this very adaptive recipe and what I have here is tomatoes about, for the eggs for a crowd version, it's about two tomatoes for every two eggs. Um, and then the proportions are, we're gonna do about six eggs, a full cast iron pan of uh, huevos ranchero salsa. So the tomatoes and onions, and you have chilies to taste. If you love spicy things, you can add more. You can add chili powder, which I have here, some uh, guajillo, and also I love smoked serrano, which is super spicy, and you can uh, add more spice if you like. Garlic, of course, and then a couple handfuls of cilantro. I really love both cooked cilantro and then a sprinkling of fresh cilantro on top at the end. Um, salt to taste, and because we are in uh, uh, midst of winter, I really love adding a little bit of tomato paste. I do not do this with our glorious summer tomatoes, but when we're in winter tomato season, it's kind of a must. Some cooking implements, uh, and I like to use, I have this wonderful tiny masher that I've borrowed from my daughter Mariella, um, <laughs> and you can use this, any potato masher, or even just a spoon or a fork, if you like a little bit smoother consistency. Um, again, this is a wonderful recipe with a lot of variation. If you prefer it blended, you can go that route as well. So to start off with any salsa, I usually 
start with the onions, um, cooking the onions in the pan. Um, so dad, if you wouldn't mind, uh, it's my job. dice, please. Okay. Um, and then I'll slice some onions for the top. So I'm going to work on just briefly slicing some onions for the topping and we're going to dice everything, onions, tomatoes, chilies and garlic. I prefer minced, but if you like big chunks of garlic, go ahead, have big chunks of garlic. Um, and we'll cook this all down till it's nice and uh, thick consistency in the pan. And then we'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay. I'm doing this, but I won't be as adept as many chefs, cooks, uh, including especially Jacques Pepin, who's the master <laughs> of the of the shiv. And, and for the topping, I like slices, so I'm going to do okay. about half an onion if you prefer more. That's fine. Of slices. Like so? Or a little, some of these too big? Di yeah, pretty, pretty well diced. Okay. So we want them, we want them relatively consistent sizes. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the benefit of, uh, of a, a team, a team process is we'll, well, we'll have, we'll have a recipe that um, suits our, <laughs> our current um, crowd, which is fun. And so again, I like a fair amount of spice. So I'm going to add uh, the three jalapenos that I have here. What am I smelling already? The jalapeno. Uh -huh. It Which smells is... really nice. Sometimes these days, um, if you shop at Hannaford's, the jalapenos can be a little iffy. So if you do like a fair amount of spice, um, I do recommend maybe grabbing a Serrano too. Serranos um, pack quite a bit more punchy heat. Um, so if you're if you're into a whole lot of heat, um, it can't hurt to pick up a couple extra chili options. Um, you also can't go wrong with dried chilies, um, though the preparation is a little bit different. So I've brought chili powder. So if you have a favorite chili powder, um, it's fun to experiment because when you experiment with this recipe, you can really find the variations that you prefer, um, which is exciting. And I'm sorry, go that's ahead. great. Like, like so? Yep. Okay. And so what we'll do is, um, Dad, if you can, in the pan, add a, a little bit of oil there. This one, the fire one. This one here. And then um, we'll start the onions cooking. And right. then we'll add the garlic and chilies together. I'll get the... Oh, okay, sorry. This was olive oil that I used, by the way. As you, as you might have deduced. What. There you go. Okay. What was my task again, Julie? I was helping light the stove. So <laughs> <laughs> I just add a, a splash of oil. Okay. Um, and then the onions, right. once it's heated up. Okay. And then we'll add the chilies and garlic together. Um... Oh, and as I was saying, the other interesting thing about this recipe is uh, if you include all of these ingredients, so alliums, onions, garlic, chilies, tomatoes, and cilantro, all of these are native to the Americas. So these are plants that have grown here um, and were cultivated um, by indigenous Americans for millennia. So you can appreciate the bounty of uh, the Americas while you're enjoying some delicious eggs for yeah. a crowd. They were, they've been around for millennia, you say? Oh, yes. I thought she was the president's, ex-president's wife, no? That's ah, the... nope, different, different. Same but different, well, anyway. All right. And so, um, if you cook a lot with chilies, uh, you know, but, um, I'm going to remind you anyway that, um, 
don't put in or take out contacts, lenses, or uh, touch your eyes um, after you've chopped chilies because uh, it's a painful experience. So make sure you wash your hands well with soap and water. Um, if you're super sensitive, you can always use gloves, um, but these jalapenos aren't too, too spicy, so it's not, not too big of a problem. Okay, great. So onions yeah, can go in. Right. This and then we'll put the chilies in. I don't know if you can hear, but that sizzle sounds great. I'm gonna swipe and we'll get the onions going. Like this guy for a second. Sounds good. And then I'm gonna give you the chilies. So wait on those, Julie, or not? Yeah, wait on those for a little bit. So um, typically I let the onions go translucent um, and then I will add the chilies and the garlic. Um, I love garlic. Uh, so this is garlic that um, uh, my spouse Eric grew with the help of our kids um, in our garden. And it's, um, it's a wonderfully punchy garlic. If you are enjoying grocery store garlic at this time of year, it might be worth adding a little bit more. Um, it's not quite as punchy as, as the, the homegrown kind. So again, this is all to taste, which I think is the, the joy of this recipe. And if you're familiar with garlic, a nice way to get the, the little sleeves off are to pound them with the flat edge of a knife, and then they come right off. Another way, if you're doing a ton of garlic, is to um, put hot water on them in a little bowl, and then you can peel a whole, like a whole bowl full of cloves at once. But we don't have that many today. And so I like the garlic pretty well minced. How are those onions looking? Yeah, they're looking pretty good, I Great. would say. So if the onions are looking... What do you say? Yeah, they're looking great. So, okay. um, so the onions are translucent. Um, we have the garlic and chilies chopped and ready to go. Good and one. so they can go in. All right. Thank you. Wonderful. And so the next steps would be, uh, we'll chop all the, uh, the tomatoes. Um, I take the, the cores out, um, otherwise you get a tough bit and it doesn't cook down quite as nicely. Um, and then we'll add that to the pan. And to taste, again, salt, chili powders, and a wee bit of tomato paste. Add that all together and cook it down to a consistency, which we'll show you in a little bit. So it's to my desired consistency, and uh, it's you can see it's cooked down quite a bit. It'll start out chunky and separate, and now it's um, tomato saucy kind of consistency. And so after mashing it and adding the ingredients and again uh, tasting it for the salt level you like and for the chili level you like, um, I make little wells with a spoon. And then in those little wells, I plop 
an egg in each one. And I think it's easier to have your eggs in a little bowl or uh, a water glass to do this. Um, so then you don't risk having shells going into your um, beautifully made sauce. And then I have ready uh, for when it comes out of the oven at 400 degrees, um, toppings. I love the fresh cilantro and sliced uh, onions on top. And uh, one more note about chilies. So the chilies that you, if you decide to uh, have more spices, um, ground chili powder, there are some questions about what kinds of chili powder. Um, you can get whatever you can at the grocery store, or I love the variety that, um, this is a main company, Griffin Ridge has, and uh, they're not sponsoring this, I just happen to like their product. Um, and this is a smoked Serrano, which is quite spicy. And I love that they have what are called the Scoville units on the jar here. So this is eight to 22,000 Scoville units, which is quite spicy. This is the smoked Serrano. And this is the Guajillo powder. So this is 2,500 to 5,000 Scoville units. Um, so this is kind of moderate heat. This is rather spicy heat. And I'll probably add more on top. So here are the eggs in their little wells. Um, in the oven at 400 degrees, I cook them to the desired wobbliness. And so when they're in the oven, I'll do a little wobble test like that. You can see the eggs are moving around, obviously not cooked yet. Um, but when the whites are just set and the yolks are still runny, that's how I like it. If you like your eggs a little more firm, then let them cook a little longer. And you can do your wobble test in the oven um, to your preference. So here we go. And so we're in the oven and the eggs are gonna cook um, until your desired wobbliness. The sauce cooked down for about a half an hour. And so uh, if you have fewer eggs, this is definitely eggs for a crowd. Um, it'll be a little less time than that. So uh, we'll pop back when you uh, have the wobbliness to your desired consistency for a taste test. All right, so we're back. And as you can see, the yolks are still wobbly, which is my preference, but the whites are fully cooked. And so the next step before serving is to just put some, top it with some cilantro and fresh cut onion slices. And if you prefer, you can also, um, it. There's a variety of uh, farmer's cheeses that go deliciously with this as well. And so I will serve it up here with okay. kids' uh, delicious tortillas. And I like to dip my tortilla in it. Would you like it on top of your tortilla or uh, on the side? The side is good, I guess. Okay. Really sure. And so. Um, the way I like to serve this with tortillas, um, again, cheese if you prefer, is just a, a bunch of sauce on top. That is beautiful, Julie, if I may, if I may say so. I make, and I make it's okay. a delicious and healthy uh, breakfast. Would you right. like to Ter taste terrific. it? Yeah. Mm. And we get to try the tortillas and salsa and eggs all together. Mm, I have to say. You approve? Mm-hmm. I approve. Mm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. <laughs> Buen provecho. Okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I thought you were friends. Well, anyway. Thank you for watching. Signing off. We'll <laughs> Make foodies. Yeah, right.